So you say you did get to the rodeo this year? Yes, we went on Saturday night. It's a very good show, and, and hopefully, you know, if, like we mentioned before, if you don't have your tickets, maybe next year, but <laughs> that's true. Have you got to get them early for yep. tonight. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be some highlights on Spanish Fork 17. I'm sure. I haven't talked with Pete Hansen about that, but I'll bet he's going to put some highlights on. While we have just a second here, I'd like to take this opportunity to give Elaine Hansen a shout out. Yes. She is one of the major organizers of the events going on here at Fiesta Days and had to be at the hospital this year for some surgery, so missing out on the parade. Hi, Elaine, thinking of you. Yes, just in case she's now home recovering. We love you, Elaine. We know all the work you do. Um, worked with her many years, and she puts on, I mean, she, she just does so she's much tireless. of the coordination of all the tireless. shows. Yes, mm -hmm. she is. She even admitted that to me one time. <laughs> even from a young age, she would just work herself to exhaustion. That's just her personality. Um, but, yeah, you can still see some of her fine work because uh, all of the acts that will be performing behind the library at the library park today are probably things that she has recruited. And we're not really sure why there's a slowdown, but we'll just keep watching people throw a lasso around here. Maybe we can get them to come in front of us a little closer. We'll let you be a, a guinea Maybe pig and stand out there and have them lasso you. Jump up and down and see you. if they can get my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> that like would be fun, that. wouldn't it? Yeah. Not. Yep. Not at all. So I do have to ask you just for the fun of it. You, just, you made a teaser here. Okay. The photo of you from the <laughs> Ute Stampede Royalty, what were you? So I was one of, one of the attendants. You were one of the attendants. Mm -hmm. Okay, see. I'm impressed. Horseback riding. Not really my forte but I but I did participate and it was a lot of fun. I'm impressed. I see some llamas, the Utah Valley llamas. They're located just south of Spanish Fork on Main Street. The llama farm is open to the public daily and the llamas are available to rent for your picnic or party. Huh. Who knew? Who I, knew? I didn't know that. <laughs> you can schedule a hiking trip into the mountains, and these wonderful pack animals will carry all of your camping gear. Llamas are great pets, guard animals, and are sheared yearly for their wool. So, of course, I think of the Krishna Temple when I think of the llamas, and it did say south of Spanish Fork. i got to think there's some association. I would venture to guess the same. But I'm going to have to check that out. Utah I'm going to rent llamas. them for my picnic or my party. <laughs> I think <laughs> you should. That sounds like fun. <laughs> that sounds great. And then let's see. Now we have, uh, is this the Legacy House that's coming into view here? Or is this? Well, is don't this forget home? the Pooper Scoopers. Oh, yeah. So we should we should throw a little <laughs> shout out to them, too. They're the Pooper Scoopers from the Crosswinds <laughs> Second Ward. They're the scouts there. There you go. Okay. So the Legacy House of Spanish Fork is the premier assisted living in South Utah County. They're actually in my neighborhood. Legacy has been serving our community since 2013 and is the annual sponsor of Spanish Fork Sunday Night Music in the Park, which was just last night. Mm -hmm. And is this van, what is this van? It's oh, still it's part of, no? Yes. This is uh, Maple Mountain Home Health and Hospice. Oh. oh, it's still part of. You know what? I got that wrong. I apologize. That wasn't Legacy. That was the Maple Mountain Home Health and Hospice. I should have known that because they're the ones that have the iconic fire engine. So we apologize for that. Maple Mountain. Uh, Maple Creek. I'm sorry. Maple Mountain's a high school. Maple Creek Home Health and Hospice. Well, we'll blame our notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our notes are wrong. <laughs> yeah, the notes were wrong, but they are both great, uh, great contributors to our society, our community. We definitely need help with the senior citizens as you age. You need some support, and that where, that's where Maple Creek Home Health and Hospice and uh, Legacy come in. So now we got a grandma rock in here. What is this? Oh, this is Legacy House. Okay. So we already talked about Legacy House, and uh, for some reason. <laughs> Maybe they're partnering somehow. Uh, they could be. It would actually make sense in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So Grandma Rocks, it says there, and uh, that's representing the Legacy House because that's what they do every day at Legacy House. <laughs> they rock and roll. Bingo, bingo is for old people. Legacy House has rockers. <laughs> yeah, they are rocking. And I do believe this is Bank of American Fork. And Bank of American Fork, they believe banking is personal. When you work with us, you get local people anxious to get to know you and help you with specific needs. 
You can help plan your future. You don't get that at just any bank. Come in and talk to us. They're a member of FDIC. It's good to have them. I'm originally from that area, and I remember the Bank of American Fork quite well because I had a bank account there when I was in high school. Okay, this says a Skyline X. Oh, that's still the Bank of American Fork. My apologies. That's their float. So we just saw the truck oh, go by, and there's okay. their beautiful float. What? I I'm trying I was to figure out what I know. It is. I was it trying to get it to be a little <laughs> mermaid float, but it's some kind of fantasy float. It's a. Is it's it an octopus? Uh huh. So an octopus with a treasure chest. I'm wow. sure that's what my bank account looks like there. <laughs> Oh, how I wish. Oh, that's a neat float. That is pretty fun. They had a yellow submarine, but I didn't point out in time. All right, now we've got the Skyline X. It's a, youth, a local youth shotgun shooting team. How about that? Teaching kids early. They shoot trap, skeet, and sporting clays. Mm -hmm. They practice the Spanish Fork and Provo Gun Clubs. Of course they do. They have 35 kids on their team, ranging from 10 to 24, and all skill levels. If you want to learn more about this fun team, you can check them out on Facebook. Contact their head coach, Jenny Taylor McCowan. They should be on shooting straight. They should be. Maybe they have been. Maybe they have been. Especially with their coach being Jenny. That's, uh, that's intriguing. Well, and nothing says we are Spanish Fork like Spanish Fork High School. It is their Spanish Fork Student Council. And they have been busy at work planning events such as homecoming and their annual charity fundraiser, Homeless for a Night. Last year, the students at Spanish Fork High School raised $15,000 for Make-A-Wish Utah. That's at, great. At, yeah, that's amazing. This, this year's council is led by student body president Kennedy Frame, and they are looking forward to welcoming incoming sophomores as well as juniors and seniors back to school next month. Ultimately, they love Spanish Fork and being a part of this amazing community. Go Dons. <laughs> That's right. Go Dons. Yeah, the football season's coming up soon. Don't say it. <laughs> That's another thing about Fiesta Day is when this is over, it can right. only mean one thing. That means the school year's coming. That's <laughs> so true. But uh, I'm sure that Spanish Work 17 will carry a few football games. Indeed they will. So it looks like we've got the Los Chalitas coming up. That's the Spanish Work Drill Team. And they are coached by Rachel Shaw, Leslie Swenson, Joni Holmes, and Morgan Harrison. That's why they're so good. They've got four coaches. The head captain is Maddie Bennett, and the co-captains are Belle Gordon, Cameron Oldham, Miley Baum, and Avery Higginson. And I recognize some of those last names. Those are Spanish Fork last names. Can you still kick that high? Depends on the day. <laughs> I'm sure and maybe and maybe some icy hot. I'm sure picking on you a lot. Yes, you are. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> That's okay. okay. It says that they are a drill team that strives for perfection and they love to support their school and community. You know, it wasn't just maybe I don't know a couple of years ago that uh, Spanish Fork did really well and Spanish Fork 17 did a special on the Spanish Fork drill team and the Spanish Fork cheerleaders. I'm actually trying to remember what yeah. is what. I might be getting my stories mixed up a little bit, but they, they both do really well. The cheer team and the drill team, they always compete nationally. And I'm sure they've got a lot of first place region and state trophies as well. You know you're getting old though when you start recognizing some of these young ladies and remember them when they were like five yeah. or toddlers. That's yep. not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Speaking of the cheerleaders, yeah, the beautiful Spanish Work High School cheerleaders, they recently took second place at the USA Cheer Nationals ah. in Anaheim, California. There you go. Yes. They are led by coaches Taisha Money and Maylin Elliott and are looking forward to a great year. I said it before, and I will say it again. Go, go Dons. Dons. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now I have to admit, I've heard the cheer in the football field uh, in the stadium there that they say, we are SF. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's especially appropriate for them. And they're putting on an act for us. That's, boy, I don't know who pulled the strings to get them to do this, but we'll just watch them for a little while. A routine.
Well done, ladies. That was great. That was awesome. Now, I'm thinking, I really don't know how this whole cheer season works, but I'm thinking this is just the very beginning of the cheer season, isn't it? Yep. So that routine is probably when they've only practiced for a week or two. Wow, very that's impressive. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Especially on the asphalt. They yep. have lots of energy, and they've probably been at camp this summer. Ah, yeah, I'm sure that's true. All right, so who do we have coming into view here? That's I would dare say it's the FFA. Okay, so the the Spanish Fork FFA, and they have a strong t tradition of agriculture in our community, which is one thing that's great about Spanish Fork. We still have an agricultural community. The chapter has grown to 400 members and has excelled in competitions, agri-science, fair, proficiencies, and leadership. Proud of you folks. I hear a band coming. No parade would be complete without a band, the Spanish Fork Marching Band. The Dons are led by the Spanish Fork High School drum majors. The band is under the direction of Mr. Clint Roberts. Staff members include Skylar Carter, Tammy Matheson, Tommy Hansen, and Tyler Jolly. Their 2017 parade songs include arrangements of You're a Grand Old Flag, Stars and Stripes, and Hound Dog. This music highlights some of the best patriotic music written for the USA and one of America's rock and roll standards. The band is currently working on their 2017 marching show entitled Conspiracy Theory. They would like to thank the band boosters, parents, Spanish Fork, high school faculty, uh, students, and alumni for their continued support. And there's the flags that go with the band. Appreciate those ladies as well. They're sounding pretty good. And again, early in the season. Okay, so now we have the Spanish Fork High School fast pitch softball team. We are back-to-back -back state champions. Today, they are, and that's very impressive, by the way. I shouldn't just gloss over that. Back-to-back -back state champions. Today, they're wearing state championship rings, showing off their three-peat. Overall record of 30 and three, they're Region 8 champions. The coaches are Don Andrews, and Don, by the way, Don Andrews and Natalie Jarvis have been with them forever. Jimmy Andrews, and uh, I'll try to get through as much of the team as I can really fast, <laughs> I suppose. Here's fa Fast Speed. Cambry Hazel, Mikkel Stone, Mallory Baber, Horton Bate, Gabby Beckstrom, Brooke Carter, Katie Sh uh, Shoggers, Morgan Scott, Maddie Tracy, and we better move to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't do it quite as fast as their arms. But we do appreciate the those how they represent awesome. Spanish Fork. Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay. And the Softby Softball Philly League Bengals. Regular city champs, city tournament champs, state champs, and an undefeated, undefeated season. season. Wow. Coached by Todd Ross and Jeff Cooney. Oh, Bengals. Boy, that's an impressive team. Undefeated won everything, every game, every championship. That's hard to be. State champions. Congratulations, ladies. And then upcoming, and looks like it'll be a few seconds here, but I'll go ahead and get a start. This is the contest winners for the for the baby contest. Oh, the babies. <laughs> That's a fun one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So this says that the novelty award winners are Brady Moss, Remington Fair. Is that how you pronounce that? Or I Ferret? think it's Remington Ferry. Ferry, okay, thank you. Kira Squire and Ellie Clegg. Uh, the zero to three months winners, Hunter Wood, Oslin Buchanan, four to six months, Heston Johnson, Cortland Beck, 7 to 12 months, Calvin Guyman, Maylee and Dominguez, 13 to 18 months, Tristan Smith, Emery Isham, or Isham probably, 19 to 24 months, Tavis Martinez and Avery Steele, and the 25 to 36 months, Vander Haskell and Sophia Grassley. Aww. Everyone loves a out. baby. Absolutely. <laughs> These names don't get any easier, do they? <laughs> no, they're just more and more creative. And in Maple Mountain High School, their student council, the student council is made up of student body and class officers that represent Maple Mountain High School, the best high school in the history <laughs> of the universe. Okay, well, it sounds like <laughs> it was written by the student council, doesn't it? I think so. And then following them are the Maple Mountain High School Elevays. Or is this actually the cheerleaders? This looks to be the cheerleaders. I think so. I think the yes, elevators are actually the drill team. They swapped positions here. That's right. The cheerleaders, they're coached by Taylor. Let's see, I'm not reading it. Uh, Fernandia, 
I think so. And Aubrey Hickson. We'll, we'll take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't really see the. Oh, yeah, the elevators are coming. And the still. elevators are yeah, coming. They're on coming. There. They're on the back of the. The junior cheer truck. clinic, though, for the cheerleaders, that will be August 9th through the 11th for children ages 3 to 15 years old. Oh, that sounds like fun. Go Eagles. So as I recall, they have the uh, regular cheerleaders help out the young girls that want to learn how to mm -hmm. cheer, and it's a lot of fun for them. Those oh, and I shouldn't say just girls. Fun. They might have boys as well. Uh -huh. I don't know. I shouldn't uh, specify just girls. Okay, so the Elevays. Their uh, drill team is a competitive dance team at Maple Mountain High. The Elevays are the current Region 8 drill team champions. Congratulations, ladies. They went on to place third at state in the 4A drill team competition. This year's team is looking forward to performing at Maple Mountain High Athletic Events and competing this year. The Elevays are coached by Molly Branchley, Brandy Gissell, and Marcy Height. And yeah, we will say, won't we, Natasha, that if we slaughter her name, we apologize. <laughs> we try. Yes. <laughs> we try our best. Well, you know, before you pronounced Dejana, I thought it was Dexana, and that's our own Miss Spanish Fork, so, you know. Unless you, I, unless you know, you don't know. No, it's spelled Dexana. Pronounce it again for me, Dejana. 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 Beautiful name. Beautiful girl. And the Maple Mountain High School Marching Band. Oh, is it the Maple Mountain? I'm sorry. This is probably just still part of the Maple Mountain. Uh, um, nope. Well. It says, I believe, and so who is it? Well, we've got, <laughs> well, we, it looks like we have FFA in the middle. Oh, that's so what it is. It's the so FFA. They, yeah, okay. so they've scrunched them all together. And that's, so they didn't have their their own entry. Right. But, but just like Spanish Fork High School had yes. an FFA club, yep. so does Maple Mountain. And I love the fact that we're keeping agriculture Aww, alive. I love that they have their dog with them. <laughs> Okay, now we have the Maple Mountain Marching Band. So we please welcome them to Spanish Fork, the Maple Mountain High School Marching Band playing El Capitan. So we might actually uh, shut up and listen for a little bit. I'll just say this uh, El Capitan is by John Philip Sousa and the drum majors are Hillary Hurst and Logan Marks. Academy is a K-12 tuition-free public charter school located in Spanish Fork, Utah. Our students participate in programs like dual immersion, leadership training, and concurrent enrollment for more relevant education. They are also encouraged to get involved in clubs, fine arts, and sports for their social and physical well-being. ALA is a school for students who want more than just a diploma. Founded in 2005 and supported by both state and public funding, ALA exists to provide 1,800 students with a challenging innovative and result-oriented education based on the belief that parental partnership is critical to student success. Students at ALA learn the values and principles of leadership, character development, accountability, respect, and physical well-being with academic excellence as ALA's primary focus. Go ALA Eagles. And it looks like this is the ALA drill team, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's still part of ALA. Yep, it's the yeah. drill team. That's a classy old truck there they got, too. So they're doing a little routine, and again, very early in the season. Appreciate them doing routines in front of us, the bands, the cheerleaders, and the drill team. Okay, this is Riverview Elementary here now. River, or I'm sorry, yeah, Riverview Elementary. It's a place that is focused on its core purpose of causing learning. Each student hears what they want to do, and they think it is important you can do it is their motto. We're never going to give up on you. Riverview students are learning to make their mark and make it better. Let's see if we can get them to wave at us. <laughs> 